After eating for three days straight in Bangkok, we hopped on a plane and flew to Kuala Lumpur. Or if you want to blend in with the locals, then it's KL. KL is the capital city of Malaysia, known for having the tallest twin towers in the world, some of the world's largest shopping malls, and a very diverse gastronomic scene thanks to the multi-ethnic population there. About half of the population is ethnically Malay with minorities of Chinese, Indians, and indigenous people. I absolutely fell in love with Malaysia and this country is the perfect representation and celebration of Asia's unique cultural diversity. Most people may think of Asian countries as having homogenous societies, but that's not always true. Even the landscapes of Malaysia represent diversity. You have modern bustling cities, cultural heritage sites, stunning coastlines, vibrant rainforests, micro islands, and multicultural art. I only had three days in KL this time, but after this trip, I have officially made it my goal to come back to Malaysia and soak in the rest of this melting pot of a country. Hope you enjoy the vlog. Hello friends, we have made it to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. We just checked into our gorgeous Airbnb. We're staying in a high rise condominium building and we're on the 34th floor with a gorgeous view of the Petronas Twin Towers and the Minara Observation Deck. We flew in from Bangkok today, had a really fun and very packed three days there and now we're here in Malaysia for three days as well. I already know I will love Malaysia for so many reasons. It is a country that is very multi-ethnic and multicultural, which means even more options for food from all around the world. I love that there is the capital city like KL, but also Malaysia is full of beaches and rainforests and national parks as well. None of which, unfortunately, that we will be visiting on this trip, but in the future, I would definitely love to explore it. And I love any tropical climate because it just reminds me of Taiwan, which is where my home country is from. Malaysia is a small country, but packed with so much to do. So I am so excited to just even be in KL these next three days. There's gonna be a lot of eating as usual. But yeah, since it's kind of late, we're probably just gonna go get dinner and then come back. But let me show you the Airbnb really quickly. So it's a studio with a queen bed and it is pretty sleek and modern. A kitchen that we won't be using, but still really nice to have. And then this bathroom here is really nice as well. Okay, and then of course the view, which I am about to show you. Let me turn off all the lights though so that you can get a proper look. Oh God, there we go, okay. <gasps> Whoa, there it is. And where Andrew is sitting right now, I don't know if you can see it, there is like a long seating area that's cushioned so that we can literally gaze at this view for hours. And I can't believe we're gonna be, I'm on the bed right now, and I can't believe we're gonna be, wow, look, just look at this. I can't believe we're gonna be like sleeping to this view. Wow. This is amazing. Good morning, Kuala Lumpur. Heading to Central Market to do some shopping. Hey, look, it says it's been open since 1888. Very old. I 
couldn't see where I was going Had no end inside The cycle seems to keep on going Victory wasn't on my side But then I realized you're carrying me through the night And you're not afraid of me Stopping by McDonald's, and of course we know Andrew's favorite dessert is the McFlurry. They have a mango McFlurry, which is a little less than two USD. And then they also have an Oreo McFlurry for 6.4, which is a dollar and a half. I'm trying to convince him to get one. This is his only chance. Just kidding, there will be plenty more chances. You Be safe from danger. I'm no longer a remainder. You can do a whole colonial walk here where you can see theaters, mosques, different buildings. Tell me I don't need to upset free from misbehavior. I start to realize your grace brings me to love. Oh my god, this is the most gorgeous view. Wow. That reminds me very much of Malaysia, like a skyscraper and then a mosque. <laughs> and then a river, and then the lushness. Malaysia in one scene. Just so you know, it is so hot right now. We are dying out here. Look at this gorgeous greenhouse. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's painted all on the buildings, like with a tree. It looks like it's like there's a river with people bathing in it. I wonder what it is. It looks like a rainforest. I couldn't see where I was going Had no end inside The cycle seems to keep on going This is so cute. It's like little people. When you're not afraid of mess, I'm holding inside. No longer bound by the prison. Look at this city model of Kuala Lumpur. Now I'm finally and set free. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is yours. Honey lemon and I got sour plum. Are getting a little bit tired we have one more thing one more major thing left in the day to do but before that we're gonna do a little afternoon coffee run found this kind of a hidden gem of a coffee place called transparent coffee
my gosh, life-changing tea. This is so good. I got an Osmanthus oolong milk tea and it is so good. So these are traditional Malaysian skewers and we got the chicken one. So what you do is you take one of these and you very, very generously like roll it around in the sauce. Very, just coat it completely. Ding! Mmm! It's like a sweet peanut -y sauce with some ginger and spices. It's so good. And then first I'm getting nasi bajari. And then like some prawns, tricolored rice, beef rendang, a fried chicken thigh, and an egg. Wow, this looks so beautiful. Second to last day in KL. And we're gonna go get some breakfast first and then we're heading to the Batu Caves because the weather today looks a lot better. Can't fail. This tea tastes exactly like Hong Kong milk tea. It's a little sweeter though. This is like a roti special plate has soft boiled eggs, three soft boiled eggs, roti, and then the roti is kind of soaked in curry. Very delicious. Very, very, very delicious. Mmm. You know what it reminds me of? The Indian chilaquile. Came to this nice cafe here, but we're just gonna get an iced coffee to go because that tea earlier was good, but it was really, really sugary, so I just need something to kind of balance that out. And then we're going to head to the Batu Cave. We just took a grab over here. It's about a 20-minute drive, and we are now at the famous Batu Caves, which is like a set of limestone grottos with 370 steps that are painted rainbow colors, and then one of the largest Buddha statues in the world. So yeah, it is free to enter. And we've got our coffee that has energized and fueled us to be able to go up these steps. This looks amazing already. I've really never been around this many monkeys. They're so cute and possibly evil and might steal your stuff. Ooh, I just saw that. Oh my God, I just saw that monkey threaten these other two. We haven't even left the entrance yet because of these monkeys. <laughs> They're so cute and like fun to watch. But now we are gonna go up these steps. monkeys are scaring me more than I would have ever thought. There's something just about monkeys in the wild that are just running around and I'm so scared to make eye contact with them even though they're super friendly. Like none of them have threatened me or anything. If anything, they've just been fighting amongst their own. I think like fighting over territory. But oh my gosh, because they like stand really close to you and like suddenly you turn around and there's like a monkey right there. Oh my gosh. Anyways, we're almost to the top. Actually, we're we're here. to the row, which is a row of 22 shop houses that 
existed before the 1940s and then they were abandoned so now they've been pretty much retransformed into a row of art galleries restaurants cafes it very much contradicts like the big mega shopping malls that we've been going to the glam the glitzy ones so yeah let's walk around and check it out like a Chinese herbal drink. Good for calming your temperatures down. I'm so hungry. We're about to have some lunch in the Brickfields area, which I believe is like the little India of Kuala Lumpur. Um, however, we're at one of the most famous stalls for char kway teow, which is stir-fried noodles. And you can add in prawns or meat, anything you want. It seems to be a really popular lunch spot. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I said the wait is gonna be 20 minutes long. Got some fish cakes, an egg, even got some Chinese sausage here. <gasps> Ooh, looks so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm trying chendol. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a traditional Malaysian slash Singaporean shaved ice with like jellies in it. I think these are pandan jellies. Um, usually there's things with like coconut jellies too and this is coconut milk and red bean. It is hot out here and I feel like I can feel the heat from the wok when they're stir frying the chow kway tiao, which I very, very quickly finished because it was so good. Let's have a little bit of the chendol. Mmm! Mm, it's a little salty too. Very refreshing. Mmm! Love it. It's like coconut milk with brown sugar. This is only... This is less than a dollar. This is our last food stop here in this area. They are known for their fried bananas. It is hot. It looks like a sweet potato. Oh! Mmm! I think it's a sweet potato. Oh, it's like a mochi like rice cake in the middle. Is it focused? Wow, this is so good. 